Okay, so on this problem, they want us to solve the equation x squared equals 325. So how do we solve an x squared equation? Well, basically you do the root because the root is the opposite of the second power. But you have to remember when you put a root on both sides, you've got to go plus or minus. It's a very common mistake. Don't forget my dorky saying roof on the house up and down the ladder. So it cancels out there, x equals plus or minus the square root of 325. Now, we have to simplify that 325, don't we? Here. So that means, how do we simplify the square root of 325? We got to break it down. Like, take your calculator. Now, as I look at 325, I don't know everything in the world that goes in there, but you know what I know for sure? Five goes in, because it ends with a five, huh? Anything ending with five, five goes into it. So I just take my calculator, I just took 325 divided by five, then I got five, I'm 65. Now the five is done. He can't go down. But then I take 65 and divide by five again. That's five times 13. They're both done. And so there it is. So I've got this to be reduced. Now plus or minus the square root of five times five times 13. I just found out the pieces of a 325. Just broke it down with my calculator. Now what do square roots do? You know, two for one deal, huh? Right, target puts out a sign, things are until two for one, two fives inside the store, one goes out, they're gone. So the answers are plus or minus one five on the outside. The 13 has to stay on the inside because there's not two of them. And what do they want? They said it's plus or minus A root B. That's how they wrote it. Plus or minus A root B. So then the A is the five and the B is the 13. The A is the five. And the B is the 13, is what we're identifying. And there we go.